Well, everyone, this is Scott Bradley coming to you from www.scottbradley.name. And in this Evernote Scott video, I'm going to show you a specific feature that you may or may not be aware of and how you can actually use it to be more productive and effective in your life. This is going to be great for sales professionals or people that are managing specific uh, long lists of things that you need to query and pull really quickly and or if you use um, Evernote for other aspects of your life that you need to get access to information quickly or you're like me where you have over 26,000 notes and as far as getting access to them quickly and efficiently you're going to need this. So without further ado let's jump into what I want to show you today about Evernote and how, what you can do with this little cool feature. So um, jumping into the platform here um, as you know, if, if you've watched previous videos, you know that you know it's notebook, notes, content, and note within each notebook. And typically, in depending on what you're using Evernote for, you're going to always have to use the search bar up here, depending on whether you're using it to manage, um, you know, leads that you're managing in a pipeline, or you know, you get access, you're putting information in like a reference notebook. Um, again, I'm going to put these videos up here. Primarily the you know pipeline management for a sales professional. This little feature is going to be helpful for that, and or you know the reference-based notebook, and or you know fill in the blank. So the feature that I want to point out to you is what's called saved search. Saved search, and basically what this is going to allow you to do is to create specific searches, almost like a Google search in your Evernote, and by doing so, that's going to help you run queries faster without you having to remember all the queries that you need to run or want to run. And in doing that, it's going to allow you to log into your Evernote, click your save search, the information is going to pull up, you can get access to it, execute on it, and implement it. So I'm going to show you how it works. What you're going to do is, you know, just for all intents and illustrative purposes, um, if you come up here and you type the search word, let's just use the word um, call. Okay and we're going to press search. So in my previous video, one on uh, managing a funnel, um, this is you know one of the searches that I would run probably if I were a sales professional uh, managing a pipeline and I would want to see who are all of the people that I have called in my database, in my specific you know pipeline management system. And if this is a search that you know that you would want to get to um, in the future, because remember, as you change up, you know, the notes and you're pushing people through your funnel more effectively, you're going to most likely want to see specific searches within that funnel framework. So what you want to do in order to create a saved search in Evernote, what you want to do is just click the search box here up at the top, and you're going to see this little option down here that says save this search. So I would just say, you know, those who I have called, save. Now, let's X this, and we're going to just, you know, refresh, go back to all notes. Now, let's say that, you know, you shut the, your Evernote down, you go about your life, you come back to your Evernote, you go, oh, I want to see everybody who I've called. You click this little thing, and then you're going to see this little search bar thing that says, those who I have called, and all you're going to have to do is click it, and it's going to pull up the information for you right then and there. This is going to make your life so much easier from a, you know, pull, pull the information I need, knowing what I'm searching. Now, taking this a step further, you can also make your searches as customized as possible. Um, so it's like tag, you know, uh, tag, uh, cold called one, no message. And, you know, I also want them to see called, you know, search, right? So, again, there's nothing here, but this could also be another safe search. Come here, save this search, you know, cold, called, um, you know, no mess, message, save, boom, click, there's that other safe search. So, as you can see, you know, from a scalability standpoint, Using this feature is going to depend on what business you're in, what you do, your functionalities as either an employee, an entrepreneur, or whatever role that you have in the world, um, and it's going to be really awesome. So 
I hope your uh, this was valuable to you. And before you go, I want to just point out something to you that you may not be aware of. Um, I, as someone who's really committed to helping you use Evernote effectively to get more done in less time, solve your business challenges, solve your life challenges, I have created something new that I want to bring to your attention. If you go to scottbradley.name slash e, the letter e, the letter n, training, um, you're going to come to a form here. And what I'm doing and my main purpose for, cre for creating this form is to really understand who you are and who my audience is so I can better serve you guys. So when you come to this form, you're going to see, you know, are you still having trouble effectively using Evernote to be more efficient and productive in your business and daily life? Please fill out the form below. Just let me know what your name is, your email, what your profession is, whether you're a marketer, whether you're a lawyer, whether you're an attorney, whether you're a real estate agent, whether you're in a specific business. I just want to understand who's watching these videos and how can I better serve you guys. Um, so, you know, let me know if you use Evernote in your, only in your personal life, only at work, or both. And then this is really going to be the question that I'm going to ask you that's going to help me understand what's going on and better create more content for you that's going to be more relevant and helpful for you. So in the box down here below, just answer this question. What problems are you experiencing in your business and or your personal life right now that you want to solve using Evernote? And put your answer down here below. So I put a couple of examples for you. And the real key thing that I want to make very clear is like when you press this please help me button, you're going to be sent an email from GetResponse, which is the email marketing service that I'm using. And in order for me to see your responses, um, you're going to have to confirm on that first email. Otherwise, I will not receive them. So when you get to this scottbradley.name EN training, fill out this form, come down here, click please help me and I will get your request. Now with these requests, based on what data that I get, it's going to determine what I'm going to do next. That may mean creating specific products for you, you know, information-based products in video training or audio training or you know, book training. At the end of the day, my heart and my intention is to serve you and serve you well so that I can help you solve your business challenges and or your life challenges using Evernote. So again, just go to scottbradley.name slash en training Fill this out. Let me know. I really look forward to what you guys have to share and you know share and say with me. And I really hope that you found that me pointing out this save search you know functionality for you is going to be helpful. And more more likely than not, I will probably create some more videos on effective ways to use save search for specific professions. So you know, like I said, make sure you come here and fill this out so I can understand who's you know if you're watching these videos or whatever. The more I understand where you're at in your life and or your business, the better I can serve you. So I really hope you like that. I hope you have a great rest of the day, and I will see you guys in the next video. Bye for now.